Hello, Mr. Aris. Hi, CT. How are you getting on? I'm really enjoying the studying life. So, what are we going to look at today, Mr. Aris? Well, today we're going to discuss note expansion again. Remember the part which requires you to write sentences based on a series of pictures with some words given to help you? Sure, Mr. Aris. In the previous lesson, we were writing about, I mean, the chef. That was exciting. I'm ready to do more today. All right, Siti. Let's get started. Now, for this type of question, You'll be given some pictures, usually a series of events or situations. You're supposed to observe the pictures and understand the sequence of events by referring to the words given before attempting to answer the question. The pictures in this section can relate to an activity, an incident, a place, a plant, animal, people, or other situations. Use all the words given to make sentences to describe the pictures. You may use the words in any order you like to make your description interesting. First, study the pictures carefully. Understand the order of events. Pay attention to the words given. So, Siti, I believe you have seen the pictures and read all the words given. What can you say about them? It is about arming a standard for pupil. The pictures and the words tell us that he is a generous and helpful boy. Well, I would say that you already have a clear understanding of what you have seen in the pictures. I take that you're ready to construct your sentences now, Siti. Of course, Mr. Aris. In order to answer the questions, you are required to build up your vocabulary of adjectives and adverbs to enable you to use the correct and best word. Be careful about using adjectives and adverbs. An adjective is used to describe a noun or pronoun to give more information about the size, shape, color, or age of a person, a place, or a thing. An adverb is used to describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb to give more information about an action or the state of the action. Pay attention to your tenses. The words given will give an idea which tense to use. Some comparison requires you to use the present tense and some to use past tense. Use conjunctions to link your sentences. This will make your sentences flow smoothly. For example, we can use and, then, so, while, and many more. So, Siti, before you begin, Remember to use all the words given, but it is not necessary to use them in the order in which they appear. All right, I'll take note of that. But before that, I'd like you to also take note of the tenses when answering these type of questions. What can you say about them? I was thinking about that too, Mr. Aris. You have reminded me about that in the previous lesson. From the words given, I need to use the present tense. That's right. I believe you're ready to compose. There are three pictures, so we are going to write in three paragraphs. You may write two or more sentences for each paragraph. Remember to use all the words given, but it is not necessary for you to use them in the order. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. Ideas must be clearly expressed 
well presented and linked. Accurate use of spelling and punctuation is essential. Let's hear your composition, Siti. From the first picture, I can write, Aming is a pupil studying in year four. He is kind and helpful. Very well. How about the second one? From the second picture, I would write, Aming is generous. He brings many books to school. He shares them with friends. You have put them well, Siti. Now, how about the third picture? Aming brings food from home. During recess, he eats with the poor pupils. They have no money. Well, Siti, those are good sentences. But let's just consider them as basic sentences for you to make them better. Sure, Mr. Aris. Reading has helped me a lot in learning how to make good sentences. So, why not try to make good sentences like the ones you found in the books you've read? Oh, yes. I'll add more words or perhaps combine some sentences. That's a good way. Why don't you try that for the first picture? Aming is a pupil studying in year four. He is kind and helpful. Let me try. Aming is a pupil of SK Cheras Baharu. He studies in year four. He is kind and helpful. How does that sound? I can see that you have broken up the first sentence into two parts. And you have also suggested a name of the school he's studying in. Can I just add a little bit more? Of course you may. Let's listen to it. Aming is a pupil of SK Cheras Baharu. He studies in year four. He is a kind and helpful boy. Does that sound better? Excellent, Siti. That's the way to do it. Those two little words have enhanced the meaning of a sentence. Let's get to the second picture. Aming is generous. He brings many books to school. He shares them with friends. So this may be changed to... He is generous too. He brings many story books to school and shares them with his friends. Very well. You have also added the conjunction and to connect sentences. You have also used the pronoun he instead of repeating the name Aming every time. That's the way to go, Siti. Thanks, Mr. Aris. Let me try to make better sentences for the third picture. Aming brings food from home. During recess, he eats with the poor pupils. They have no money. That would become... He also brings food from home for recess. He will share his food with the poor pupils who have no money. That's superb, Siti. You have made good changes to the sentences to make them more meaningful. Now, this is an approach which your friends too can adopt in the process of answering these type of questions. Can you see that it is not really necessary to use difficult words in composing sentences? Yes, I think I have learned that through my reading, Mr. Aris. So, this goes to tell us how important reading is in improving ourselves. So now, Siti, can you read all the sentences you have constructed? Aming is a pupil of SK Cheras Baharu. He studies in year four. He is a kind and helpful boy. He is generous too. He brings many story books to school and shares them with his friends. 
He also brings food from home for recess. He will share his food with the poor people who have no money. Well, Siti, I believe you've learned a lot today. Yes, Mr. Aris. I'm sure I can write better now. That's wonderful. Now, let's recap some of the important points to remember when writing your notes expansion. All right, friends. First, study the pictures carefully. Understand the order of events. Pay attention to the words given to check your tenses. Some notes require you to use the present tense and some to use past tense. The words given will give an idea which tense to use. Link your sentences well. You may use conjunctions which will make your sentences flow smoothly. And don't forget to read your comparison after you have completed it. And check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. You may also use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. Bye, Mr. Aris. Bye. Bye.